Howdy new viewers. Some of you have been watching the show for a while. Some of you just discovered it. If you're watching the show, thank you. You guys know you can send in comments and suggestions to my email, hello at danielzelaney.com, or post them as comments below. One of the comments came in from John, and he asked if we could do a WTF on ginger root. So, John, today's episode is for you. Today's sponsor is I Wear Your Shirt, and you can check them out online at IWearYourShirt.com. Now, I Wear Your Shirt is a team of guys and gals that professionally wear other brands' shirts. They do this all year long, and I have to thank them not only for sponsoring the show, but also for giving me some advice, some feedback, and encouragement to create What's This Food. You can check them out online at IWearYourShirt.com, and if you have a brand or business that you'd like them to promote, you can get them to wear your company's t-shirt today. Now, if you've been watching this show for a little while, you've realized that recently we've covered a few different roots, two of which are really similar to what we're covering today. Today we're talking about ginger root, but recently we've covered galangal as well as turmeric, and they are in the same family as ginger root. Just like galangal and turmeric, ginger is a rhizome. We talked about this in a previous episode. A rhizome is a root that grows horizontally instead of vertically like most roots grow. Ginger can be consumed whole, it can be consumed raw, it can be cooked up and diced up. People use it as a spice, they candy it, and some people even use it in medicine. If we take a trip down to History Town, we'll find that ginger first originated in South Asia, it quickly spread to East Asia, and then was brought over to the Caribbean. It still grows abundantly in all three regions. Now, ginger has a flavor that's really sharp, really peppery, uh, and very intense. It's actually very unique to ginger. It's not a flavor that's easily mistaken. The younger the root is, the more juicy it will be, and the more mild the flavor of ginger is. The older the root gets, the more it dries out, and the more the flavor actually intensifies. Now, ginger can be used in all different types of cuisine. It's very notably seen in Southeastern Asian cuisines as well as Indian cuisine. Uh, it's also used frequently as a medicinal product. Historically, and even today, people believed that ginger helped settle a sour stomach, which is why uh, pharmacists would constantly use ginger in products that you could drink and from that gave way to the beverage that everyone knows and loves, ginger ale, which was actually requested by a fellow WTFer to cover, so this is kind of like two for one. Here in the United States, ginger ale and ginger beer first came about as a medicinal treat for sour stomachs, uh, and they really caught on in popularity. In fact, from 1860 to 1930, they were the most popular soft drink around. Sometime after that, Coca-Cola came around and kind of shifted the market. The really amazing thing about ginger ale is that it's super easy to make. You don't need any special tools. You can make it really quickly at home, and you actually don't have to buy the processed stuff. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to make ginger ale at home right now. To make homemade ginger ale, cut a large ginger root or two into slices. You can do this roughly, no need to futz over it. Place it in a pot with equal parts water and sugar. Let's say a cup of water and a cup of sugar. Bring it to a boil. Let that boil and reduce by about half, then remove the ginger slices and continue to boil until it reduces by another half. You can bottle it or jar it and store it in the fridge. To make ginger ale, add about a teaspoon of the syrup plus two cups of sparkling water. Serve and enjoy. So that's how you make ginger ale. It's super simple to make and you know what? It brings a smile to everyone's face when they ask you for a drink and you mix up a little concoction of homemade ginger ale. Um, if you've never had ginger ale, you should try this or try it anywhere and just see if you like it. It's my favorite soft drink, that's for sure. Uh, and make some, bring it to a party, you will be the toast of the town. Check out our sponsor, IWearYourShirt.com, and if you have something you want me to cover, you can send me an email, hello at DanielZelaney.com, or post it on our Facebook page, which you can get to by going to DanielZelaney.com slash Facebook. See you there.